Welcome everyone back to another video from The Source. We've been so busy obsessing over The Mandalorian that we almost forgot it was getting close to the time Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker features would start rolling out. Entertainment Weekly has dropped its big cover story for The Rise of Skywalker, as well as revealing some new photos from the film. And as you can imagine, there isn't much in the way of actual details revealed. The trailers that have come out are scratching the surface of what the movie is, director J.J. Abrams told Entertainment Weekly. That's as expected, really? Trailers, specifically Disney trailers, have been known to be deceiving to keep the best stuff for the theater. Abrams divulged that while Rey is definitely still training as the film picks up about a year after the events of The Last Jedi, she still has some of her previous skills to fall back on in this final leg of the journey. The scavenger who is desperate and haggling for portions and trying to survive in The Force Awakens. Those special skills and that special experience ends up being something that's essential to saving the galaxy, he said. Daisy Ridley added that while she's got a lot of cool skills now, Rey doesn't consider herself confident just yet. She's definitely more in control of everything and can do new fun stuff, but she's vulnerable and a little insecure about it all. While expectations are higher than they've been for the Star Wars franchise right now, considering Abrams was returning to the cast and crew he worked with on 2015's The Force Awakens, there was a bit of comfort involved. On this, we knew who and what worked, and everyone is doing the best work I've ever seen anyone do, he said. But the ambition of this movie is far greater than The Force Awakens. What we set out to do was far more challenging. Everything is exponentially larger on this. JJ came back with a new energy and new vibe, John Boyega said. There were a few new images revealed in Entertainment Weekly's feature, but sadly no context was offered. At least we get to gaze at the lovely Richard E. Grant's First Order Allegiant General Pride outfit. The most interesting tidbit in the feature though had to be Entertainment Weekly mentioning, 3PO is essential to a movie's plot for the first time since A New Hope. The trailer telegraphed this a bit of course by having Anthony Daniels see 3PO sounding like he was about to head to the scrap pile in a very dramatic way. In previous recent movies, 3PO had just been kind of window dressing, something on the mantelpiece. You polish it and dust it off when guests are coming, Daniel said. JJ and Chris Terrio came up with this aspect of 3PO we had not seen before that's remarkably clever. They go deep down into ancient Star Wars and came up with something refreshingly new. It's a very good ending, and a good ending feels right, Daniel said. 